turning this mm, out. He has toured the world, bringing his very own special brand of funk and soul to the masses. And this Thursday night, Bootsy Collins will play live at the Strathmore for a very special cause. And this morning, the father of funk himself is in our studios to tell us all about it. Good morning to you, Mr. Bootsy Collins. Oh, good morning to you. I'm and so happy that you're here. Oh, I'm so glad to be up this morning. Ah, uh, now yeah. let me see. Let me see who Patty Collins might be, other than Mrs. Bootsy Collins. You guys were just born to be together, it looks like. Yeah. Thank you very welcome. much. Welcome. Welcome to the you. show. Thank Your you better half. Yes, Your is. better half yes, today. Yes. Also uh, joining us is Brett Murray from the organization Beethoven Found. Brett, good morning. Good morning. You good know, we you. need to be a little more sparkly if we're going to be up here with the Collins. And you know that's right. That's yeah. right. Need some sparkles. <laughs> we need some sparkle. But um, first, let me say welcome to D.C. Thank for you. both of you. What brings you to town? Well, uh, actually, we're playing uh, Halloween night, mm -hmm. uh, the 31st at the Stratmore. Love right? it. Love it. And um, we're looking forward to, uh, you know, this is Chocolate City. I mean, this is this is where they grasp the funk first. You right. know? Well, do, you, do you remember the first time you played in Washington? Uh, very first time I played. Uh, you, you know you what? You can I don't, ballpark it for us. You know what? At the Howard Theater. The Howard Theater. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Funkadelic and... I think it was 1972. All right, of course, Parliament Funkadelic. Yeah, been yeah. making good music for many, many years. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, um, and then I hear um, how it, you know, have uh, reconstructed and got oh, new yeah. things going on. We'll be there next year. It's back. Yeah, it's yeah. back. Yeah, all the way. Awesome. In the meantime, um, Patty, may I call you Patty? Absolutely. Patty, um, tell us about the organization because this has a good uh, cause pegged to it, and it is uh, aptly named the I Give a Funk campaign. Tell us about it. <laughs> yes, the I Give a Funk campaign. We're on tour and we're going around the world actually. And Bootsy wrote a song not too long ago called uh, Unity in the Community with Midnight Star and Zap and Shirley Murdoch. Oh. And we've taken it into a soup kitchen in Cincinnati. So we're going to a soup kitchen here actually tomorrow okay. and we're going to take the I Give a Funk. We're walking in the doors showing folks how much we care. Love it. And then we're working with the Beethoven Foundation, mm -hmm. which will be at the Stratmore on Thursday. And we'll be working with Instruments for Children because our mission with our foundation, the Bootsy Collins Foundation, is Say It Loud, an instrument for every child. Mm -hmm. So as we go around the world doing our touring, we provide instruments for kids. We're asking the fans to bring instruments to the actual show, and then we provide it for schools in the area. Right, because with that, I mean, you're an all-around entertainer, but without that, you know, that bass, that's the foundation that's of right. it, that's and right. put put an instrument in the kid's hand yeah. and see what might happen, yeah. right? Well, that's what the way we came, we came up, the schools were, they would lend us um, instruments to take home yeah. so we can practice, you know, um, right. and they're cutting programs and stuff like that, and, you know, a lot of us are motivated by music, um, that's what made me want to go to school was music class. See, you know, let's and put it back there. Let's take that away from there. me. I'm funked up. Right. <laughs> 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 um, Brad, tell us about the about Beethoven uh, Foundation. Well, that's great. Interesting because I got together with these folks because Bootsy's Foundation was giving out instruments to kids, and that's what we do here. We're located okay. right here in Rockville, and we give instruments to kids as well. So this big event on uh, Halloween night. Thursday night. Yeah, we're going to be giving instruments to kids. It's a big fundraiser. It's a funk symphony benefit concert. Bootsy's actually going to play a couple of songs with the symphony, but then he's just going to take it the whole show and just take it out on himself, and then they're just <laughs> going to rock the house. But we're going to give out some instruments that night. You people can get tickets at strathmore.org. Okay. And uh, it's going to be fun, and it includes a Halloween after party, costume oh, after party. Right. It is going to be a great night. It and really we is. are really, really excited about that. Now, let me ask you a question. Yeah. On Halloween, what does Bootsy Collins go as? <laughs> I don't know. Because people are going as you. So what do you go at? <laughs> wow, that's a good question. I'm a, I might come as you. Okay. <laughs> that's a little bit too straight laced. I would say no. All right. So where can we get more information? Um, we for for your foundation, I think we got it. How about if you want to help out? Can the public help with um, the I Give a Funk campaign? Okay. How do we do that? Go to www.bootsycollins.com, and there you will see where you can go to Indiegogo because our give I give a funk tour. We're raising money through Indiegogo, which okay. is a crowdfunding source. So, www.bootsycollins.com. All right, Bootsy, let me end with you. Uh, why is it important to give back? You know, you could sit around, rest on your laurels, 
on your being in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, on, on all your hit songs and yeah, your legacy? I, I don't see it as resting on anything because to me, every day is a brand new beginning. And um, it's like uh, when I look in the kids' eyes and they look in my eyes, it's like, you know, they see stars. And mm. what I want them to see is themselves, you mm, know. Love it. Um, and so uh, giving back for me is, that's a no-brainer. I mean, you know, right. uh, James Brown did it for me. Mm -hmm. George Clinton did it for me. You know, it was always somebody um, that I looked up to that kind of gave back. And so... I got to do the same thing. I mean, you, you know? you, and when you turn on the radio, and I'll ask this of both of you, and you hear your influence so just so strong still yeah. today yeah. with that funk influence and that yeah. really that brand that was the whole funk, funkadelic movement, yeah. it's got to make yeah. you feel pretty good. Yeah. I mean, you know, they kept the funk alive and yes. um, yeah. gave us another chance to come back around and, and do what we do, you know, and that's bring the whole feeling that whole feeling good about yourself. Right, right. You know, uh, being able to laugh at yourself and, and all that. Right now, you know, that's been so taken away. You can't even, you know, crack jokes. I mean, nothing's mm -hmm. funny no more. Right. You know? Well, Brett, as we leave the Collins, let's remember to keep funk alive in our we lives. We definitely will. Let's do that. <laughs> it's Strathmore.org. In honor of Bootsy and Mrs. Bootsy, Pat, Patty Collins, let's keep funk alive. Keep that yes. funk alive. <laughs> Thank you so keep much. Keep that funk we'll alive. Right Say what? Keep, keep that, that funk back. alive. Keep that phone alive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much. information on the crowd for you, man. I want to be your talk.